Today I fucked up by making a dinner reservation as a celebrity. This happened back in 2018 and I still regret doing it today. My wife and I were in Buffalo, New York for a friend's wedding. We checked into a hotel the night before and noticed there was a Morton Steakhouse attached to the hotel. My wife suggested we go there for dinner and I told her I'd make reservations online once we got checked into our room. While she was taking a shower, I made the reservations. When the site asked for a name, I put in my first name Zach and was prompted to put in my last name. For some reason, I thought it'd be funny to put Galifianakis. I smirked as I confirmed the reservation and didn't think about it again. For reference, I have a beard similar to his in The Hangover and our body shapes are arguably the same, but that's about it. In a low-light setting with some distance, if someone suggested to you that I was him, you wouldn't be able to say, no way. I usually wear a hat as well and this evening was no different. About an hour later, we headed down to the restaurant for dinner. The place was very busy. My wife approached the hostess and told her we had reservations under Zach. I was standing about 10 feet away in a sea of people but as soon as I saw how the hostess reacted with a huge smile, I immediately remembered what I did and quickly thought to myself, oh fuck, they think it's really him. As I approached, I could hear the hostess tell my wife we've arranged a table in a more private setting for you both. My wife turned around and stared into my soul. I've seen this look so many times from her and it's always for the same reason. She mouthed, WTF did you do, and before I could say anything, the hostess said, please follow me. None of the guests could be bothered but I could feel the eyes on me from every single person that worked there as we followed the hostess to our secluded table. Even the cooks in the kitchen stopped what they were doing to get a glimpse. It was very clear when the reservation came in, the word spread, and excitement was in the air. As the hostess handed us our menus, a very pregnant waitress approached the table, and this is where it all came crashing down. As she welcomed us to the restaurant, I blurted out, I'm sorry, I'm not Zach Galifianakis, to which she replied with a smile, Yep, I can see that. The look on my wife's face was priceless, but I was too deep into damage control mode to address it. I said, I'm an idiot and thought it'd be funny and I wasn't ready for what the waitress was about to unload on me. I'm actually a huge fan of Zach and when the reservation came in, the hostess ran to the back and told my manager. He actually asked me specifically if I wanted the table because he knew how much of a fan I was. Yes, I felt fucking horrible. Luckily, she seemed to have a great sense of humor. I also think she knew I was genuine with my apology. The restaurant took our picture and signed it, my date with Zach Galifianakis. I left her a $100 tip and signed the credit card slip, your number one fan Zach G. Kim, if you're reading this, I hope you and your kid are doing well.